So I've been following the Buffalo Democratic Party primary, which was over a couple of months ago. But the issue is that the Democrat whose socialist India Walton was running against and defeated is refusing to concede. He's launching a write-in campaign. I've got an update for you about that effort in this video. But also, the city council is going so far as to consider getting rid of the position of mayor altogether, all to stop this one individual who's so scary, apparently. She ran on a platform of combating poverty in Buffalo, and she won. She defeated a four-term incumbent who constituents rejected, and now the entire Democratic Party establishment in Buffalo is collaborating to stop her, and that includes collaboration with Republicans now. So, Julia Connolly of Common Dreams explains, India Walton, the Democratic Socialist candidate for mayor in Buffalo, New York, who won the Democratic Party primary in June, took aim at four-term incumbent mayor Byron Brown on Sunday over his attempts alongside with other members of the city's political establishment to circumvent the will of the voters ahead of November's election. Without calling the Democratic mayor out by name, Walton assured voters that if she had lost the primary— I wouldn't be trying to change election laws and work with Republicans to override the will of Buffalonians. The community organizer and healthcare workers' comments came amid Brown's write-in campaign, which has attracted the support of Republican real estate developer Carl Palladino and other conservatives. Brown filed a petition last week to change the filing deadline in order to run as an independent. According to a Salon report published Monday, nearly a third of the signatures the mayor has collected in favor of establishing a Buffalo Party candidacy are from the right including from Republicans from outside of Buffalo. The city's Republican Party is considering an official endorsement of Brown, who is a close ally of outgoing Governor Andrew Cuomo, and who's denounced Walton as a radical socialist. So I've said this before, but I'll reiterate this sentiment. Uh, these Democrats are no different than Stop the Steal Republicans, because they're trying to change election laws in their state all to stop one individual, a socialist. And Democrats often claim we're a Big Ten party, but apparently that tent excludes socialists and is welcoming of Republicans, at least in Buffalo. And it's it's disgusting, but I, you know, I can't even say that this is the worst thing because arguably the worst thing that the Democratic Party establishment in Buffalo did is try to get rid of the position of mayor altogether in the event she does actually win. Conley continues, Meanwhile, should Brown's attempt to defeat Walton electorally fail, the city's legislative body is examining how it might wrest power from the progressive if she wins in November. Weeks after the primary, the nine-member Democratic-led Buffalo Common Council voted to study how the mayoral position could be dissolved in the city and replaced with a city manager who would carry out the will of the council members. So, Rather than having the mayor be popularly elected, which is what happens in our system of governance, they just want to get rid of that position and have the city council appoint someone as city manager. I mean, if Trump had the power to do this at the federal level, he would have done this. But these Democrats here at the local level are doing that. They are no different than undemocratic authoritarian Republicans who are pushing voter suppression laws around the country. Like, these folks are the lowest of the low. They are not Democrats. They are Republicans. And they're even teaming up with Republicans to stop a socialist from winning. Now, India Walton is not some sort of a scary socialist who claims she wants to have owners seize the means of production violently. All she's talking about are reforms in her city that would combat poverty, homelessness, but yet this is such a huge threat. It's just, it's truly disgusting. And I don't really even think it's about her being like this scary socialist, even if the incumbent mayor who she defeated is calling her a radical socialist, which sounds very Trumpian. Like this is about the entrenched power refusing to accept defeat. They don't like the fact that the left is increasingly gaining more popularity and power across the country. So they're trying to stop uh, this rise in, in, in any way that they possibly can. And if they can do it here, they could set out a blueprint for, you know, other cities who see similar outcomes. So look, we have to stand in solidarity with India Walton, support her campaign. Like this should be a foregone conclusion. Like we shouldn't have to worry at this point. This is a heavily democratic leaning city. So she won the primary and, and it should be over. Like it should be assumed that she will win come November. But because of all of this shenanigans and undemocratic behavior, we 
we have to still go to bat for her. So support India Walton if you can. If you live in Buffalo, canvas for her. Don't take this race for granted. I mean, she has to win. She has to win so that way she can actually make a difference and prove to the people of Buffalo that there is still hope in, you know, participating in electoral politi politics. There is still hope in electing people who actually care, even if the establishment wants to stop them and fearmonger about them. It's just this entire situation is so gross, and I wish that more people would pay attention to it because it really speaks to the uh, disgusting behavior of the Democratic Party, which is Trumpian if it serves their electoral interests.